Hello guys, this is YouTube channel Path and Lighter, and this this is the first math video. The topic is problems on trains. Three questions were asked previous year in previous year from this chapter. It is for APFC exam conducted by UPSC, and this is presented by me Deepak Jaiswal. I am inspector since 2006, rank 161 in APFC 2012, joined as APFC Ahmedabad 2014, formerly a letter agent. Now formula. This is the basic formula for solving these type of questions. That is, distance is equal to speed into time. Distance here is length of train or platform. Speed is speed of train in kilometer per hour or meter per second. And speed in these problems means relative speed. We will see it later. What is relative speed? And time. Time is time in hour or in second. So these there is two more formula for converting it for converting the units. If it's a kilometer per hour, if we want to convert it into meter per second, then we have to multiply it by 5 by 18. And if it is meter per second, and you have to convert it into kilometer per hour, we have to multiply it by 18 by 5. So coming to type, there are basically six types of questions that were asked. I have bifurcated all that. So type one. Type one is train crossing any object having no length. Suppose this is your object, like man, pole, or tree, which is having no length. Length means this length, this type of length. So this is standing here. It is having no length and it is constant, static, means no speed of it. So suppose a train is crossing here. Okay. So when a train is when a train will cross in such type of question, distance will become length of train, speed will become speed of train, and time will become time taken by train to cross the object. So we will we are going to solve a question. And it will clear a lot. Train. Length 100 meter long. This means distance is equal to 100 meter. Then coming to speed, speed is equal to 30 kilometer per hour. And since it is in meter, this length, so we can we convert it into meter per second. So this becomes 30 into 5 by 18. That becomes 3. 5. This becomes 25 by 3. So find the time taken by. So we have seen it. Distance is equal to speed into time. Speed into time. Then time becomes distance upon speed, which becomes 100 upon 25 upon 3. This 3 will go up. Then this will become 12. 4 into 3. Then the answer will be 12 seconds. Clear? Now coming to type 2. In type 2, train crossing any stationary object. But having some length. Suppose this is the train and it is crossing a platform or bridge. This is also having length. So in this case, distance will be length of the train and length of the platform plus length of the platform. Okay. And speed will be speed of train as the platform and bridge will not move. So speed will be only speed of train and time taken by the train. Suppose this is a train is moving at a speed of 130 km 132 km per hour. Convert it into meter per second. Five upon eighteen. This becomes six three is eighteen. Six two is twelve. Yes. This is one ten upon three. Okay. If the length of the train is one hundred ten meters, how long will it take? So one hundred ten meters is the length of train, and one sixty five is the length of the platform. So we will add it. It becomes 275, and it is asking how much, how long. This means distance upon speed. We have already seen 275 upon 110 into 3. So this becomes 55 into 2. 55 5 the 15 upon 2. This means 7.5 second. This will be the answer. Now coming to type 3. Type 3 is two bodies having lengths are moving in same direction. That is, they are moving in same direction, like two trains moving in same direction. Suppose this is one train, this is second train. They are moving in same direction. In this case, length will be length of these two trains. This means one plus two. And since they are moving in same direction, then their relative speed, relative speed will be minus one minus two. See, distance will be length of the first train plus length of second train. And speed will be relate. Speed will be relative speed, which will be equal to speed of one train minus speed of second train. Why? Why minus? 
because they are moving in same direction and time will be time taken to cross each other so two trains 100 meters and 100 meters long this means distance is 220 are running in the same direction with speeds of 72 km per hour yes here must be something else in how much time will the first train cross the second that's a 220 meters then we will convert it into meter per second convert the second one also in meter per second then minus it and after minus after subtracting it we will divide it from that and we will get the answer now coming to type 4 type 4 two bodies having lengths are moving in direction different direction like two trains moving in different in different direction in this case suppose there are two trains one is moving in this direction one moving one is moving in this direction then what will be then distance will be length of one train plus second train this will be distance and since they are moving in opposite direction in this case relative speed will also be plus see distance will be length of first train plus length of second train speed will be relative speed speed of one train plus speed of second train since they are moving in opposite direction and time will be time taken to cross each other so solve an example two trains 137 meters and 163 meters in length so we will add it 137 plus 163 this will become 300 then each other on parallel lines and one at a rate of 42 km per hour and another at rate of 48 km so we will convert into it into meter per second this these two question these two speeds then add it and then upon 42 plus 48 into 5 by 18 what the answer will come we will get the answer clear now now type 5 two bodies only one having length are moving in different direction like a train like example a train and a man moving in different direction suppose here it is a train and here is a man running so man has no length not this length this length man has no length so we will take zero so distance will be length of train and is, since the man is also moving and that to in opposite direction then relation relative speed will be speed of train plus speed of man distance will be length of train speed will be relative speed that is speed of train plus speed of man if any since they are in opposite direction and time will be time taken to cross each other so question a train 220 meter long is running since 220 the, the length of train is there only then distance will distance is 220 running with a speed of 59 in what time will it pass me who's running at a 7 km so speed will be 59 plus 7 66 we will convert it into 66 into 5 upon 18 what we will get this will go above you will subtract from this is this is 10 this is 3 this is 3 this is 6 so we will get 1.2 second something like that so that will be the answer now coming to type 6 two bodies only have one having length are moving in same direction like a train and a man moving in same direction so here distance will be suppose there is man there is this train and there is man they both are moving in a same direction so train is having length man is having no length so distance will be length of that train and speed will be relative speed and since they are moving in same direction then relative speed will be speed of train minus speed of man relative to speed of train minus speed of man if any since in same direction time will be time taken to cross each other so a train length of the train will be distance from 50 meter running with a speed of 68 km per hour 68 km per hour and man is running at a speed of 8 km per hour so speed will be 68 minus 8 since they are running in same direction so this will be 60 we will convert it into meter per second the answer we get will be the answer now coming to examples a man sitting in a there are these are other examples other than that so we let let have a look a man sitting in a train which is tra traveling at 50 km per hour observes that a goods train so man is in the train no problem he is having no length okay if the goods train is 280 m long if the goods train is 280 meter so we have got the distance that is 280 meter okay so you know, traveling in opposite direction takes 9 second means a man sitting in a train which is traveling at 50 km per hour 
observes that a good strain traveling in opposite direction then here it is given 9 second and since they are moving in opposite direction then speed will be same means 50 plus speed of good strain so this will be trade so distance equal to speed of speed into time then this will be 200 in 200 will be equal to 50 plus s since this is in kilometer per hour we will multiply it by 5 by 18 and the time will be equal to 9 seconds. This we will solve it and we will get the answer. Clear? Distance will be 280 meter. Speed will be 50 plus speed of goods train which is asking and since they are opposite direction the relative speed will plus and time will time is again time will 9 seconds. Now next question a train running at 50 kilo, 54 km per hour takes 20 seconds to pass a platform. This means here length will be length of train, distance will be length of train plus length of platform. Okay, the speed is given 54 km per hour. So we will multiply since platform is constant, then 54 into 5 by 18. This is 15 meter per second and time 20 seconds. So it is clear. Distance equal to speed into time. Speed we have got this we have got. Then train plus platform is 15 into 20, yani 300 meters. We have got this equation. Okay. Then in second quest, next it takes 12 seconds to pass a man walking at 6 km per hour in the same direction. Same direction. This means man has no length. Then length of train will be the distance. And speed will be 54 minus 6 since they are moving in the same direction then 48 into 5 by 18. And this takes how much second? 12 seconds. We will solve it. We will get the length of train. And after this, by putting the value of length of train here, we will get the length of platform. Clear? If you are not getting it, then you can ask in the comment section to clarify it. But I hope it's clear now. Now coming to previous questions that were asked in APFC paper. The first is a 60 meter long train travels at uniform speed of 72 km per hour. It passes non-stop along the 600 meter platform. This means the length will be 600 plus 660. This is 660. What is the elapsed time? Elapsed time is 660 upon 72 into 5 upon 18. 18 this is 4, 5 into 20 this is 20 into this 33 seconds. This clear? It is very simple, but you have just you have to get your concepts very clear. Train A is 75 meter long and travels at a uniform speed of 54 km per hour. Train S is 125 meter long in the direction opposite to. This means they are opposing direction. This means speed will get plus 54, 6, uh, 60, 30, 90. 90 into 5 by 18. This is 5 by 25 meter per second. This is a train relative speed. If these trains are crossing at a double track stress, what is the time taken for two trains? So this is the it is simple. This is the speed and this is the length 25 plus 1, 25, 200. 8 seconds, we have got down, so 8 seconds. Simple. A train travels at a certain average speed for a distance of 63 km. Thereafter, it travels. This, this, is a question, this is not a question of train. This is a question of time. So the time and the speed but not trains it, we have to uh, approach we have to get a different approach on this a train travels at a certain average speed for a distance of 63 km this means the speed will be 63 km suppose this is traveling with a speed s thereafter it travels a distance of 72 km with an average speed of 6 hour more 6 km per hour more than the original speed this means 72 km it travels but the speed is s plus 6 okay and now it total time taken is 3 hours we will solve it and we will get i think 42 km per hour as the answer we will get equation in s square solving we will get s is equal to 42 solve it if not ask me then okay this is all it subscribe to this channel for free education promote it among friends for any queries or suggestions mail at us path at gmail.com thank you